Hey everyone, I'm Leanne. If you don't know me and if you do know me and you're back, I appreciate it. I'm glad to have you guys back. Today we are doing another lash experiment. I'm gonna be doing my own at home DIY lash lift or like a lash perm, whatever you wanna call it. I ordered a kit on Amazon and actually this is not my first time getting a lash lift. I actually got a professional lash lift done in 2017 and I made a whole video about the experience because it was my first time doing it and I was really excited because as you can see, I have really straight lashes without curling them and waterproof mascara. They are just basically invisible when you're looking at me, which is really annoying for me because I love makeup, I love mascara, I love lashes, and I actually just recently took off my lash extensions that I had on for three years. About a month ago, I did that here on my channel. If you missed that one, I did it at home. It was a wild ride, a crazy experiment, and I feel like it went pretty well. I feel like my lashes are in pretty good condition considering the fact that I had lash extensions on for three years. It's kind of crazy you would expect that I would have like no lashes left but I think they actually look pretty good and every single night since I took my lash extensions off I've been using a lash serum every single night without fail no breaks for the past month so I feel like I've been really trying to like nourish and take care of my lashes since then and then now I'm doing this which is a questionable experiment hopefully it goes well <laughs> I'm kind of nervous, but I've watched a bunch of different videos of other people doing their own lash lifts. There's a bunch of kits available on Amazon. I got this one. It kind of looks like they're all the same. I don't know if they are. This is my first one that I've ever tried. I will link it down below. If this goes well, you can check it out. We'll see. And I remember way back when I put that video out in 2017, I actually had no idea you could do a lash lift at home. And I learned it from you guys in the comments. You're like, oh my gosh, it's so easy. You can get the kits really cheap. Cheap, just try it at home and I was like you guys are crazy I value my eyeballs I do not want to try that at home I'm too nervous and somehow things have changed I guess I've just gotten a lot more brave I'm ready to try it I am nervous and I've watched a bunch of videos of other people doing it I feel like I can do it and while I was in the process of kind of researching trying to figure out how to do it which kit to get and all that Grant actually saw one of the videos I was watching on our TV and after it was done, he looked at me and he was like, would you let me do that to you? And I've told this story on my vlog channel and my knee jerk reaction was like, no, are you crazy? I don't I barely even trust myself to do this. Like, why would I trust you to do it? But I've had the kit sitting around for a couple weeks now trying to give my lashes a break and I've changed my mind. And Grant is here today and he's gonna help me. He's gonna do one eye and I'm gonna do the other one. He doesn't have to work today, so he's here to help. I'm very excited that he's here. <laughs> Hi everybody. He brought his special gear so he can really get in there and do some detailed work. He was like, why would you not trust me to do it? I can do it probably better than you. <laughs> And we watched a couple of videos together and I feel like he can do it. I'm kind of nervous. I feel like these glasses are so scary. They're locked on. I'm also very nervous. Are you nervous? Uh, no. I feel like we watched that, reviewed that video. We know the steps. Grant has this horrible, horrible motto that I absolutely hate. Can you say it right now? Sometimes wrong, never in doubt. I do not like this. <laughs> At first when he told me this little saying, I was like, oh, that's kind of cute, whatever, whatever. The more you see it in practice, the less you like it, <laughs> so. He is never in doubt. He is very, very confident. If you saw the husband does my makeup video, you know that. And it is a wonderful quality in most situations. I'm nervous though. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm a little nervous. All right, well, <laughs> hopefully this will get you past your nervousness. Yeah. And you'll become my full-time lash technician yeah. at home. It's gonna cost you. Willing to do this at any time. Sure. You're gonna yeah. charge me? Yeah. The same as the makeup? Yeah, thousands. I thought it was a 20 slit under the door. Slide a $20 bill under the door. <laughs> to the and door. I'll, I'll pop over and do it, plus tip. $20 makeup artist, this is what you get. You got $20 worth here, don't you think? Easily. Um, lashes are big bucks. I feel like you didn't explain why you're all gussied up today. Oh, well, I mean, if you're doing a complex procedure on a patient, you wanna make sure you're wearing the correct attire. Okay, I've never been your patient before. This is yeah. an interesting experience. Anyway, I feel like I'm kind of like trying to put this off and I shouldn't do that. Nobody likes a long intro. So I think I'm gonna do this eye and maybe Grant's just gonna kind of be here for moral support and then he's gonna do this eye. So this is the kit we got. It comes with five different little vials of liquid. Number one, perm. Number two, fixation. Number three, nutrition. Number four, cleanser. You also have a false lash glue. Then you have cleaning tools and then the lift pads. So the lift pads are these little guys. 
They're little rubber pads that are almost like in the shape of a flower. And these go here, you glue them to your eyelids and then you glue the lashes up and then you put the perm lotion on. This kit comes with four different sizes and I think I'm gonna go for the M1. So it's kind of like in the middle. It's not for the shortest lashes and it's not for the longest lashes. It's just middle of the road. I've never done this before, so I'm just gonna wing it. I don't feel like I can stall any longer. Let's We're do gonna it. See how it goes. I've got my lash pad, the lash glue, and the first step is to apply the lash glue right on to the back of the lash pad. Let's see actually how it fits. Ooh. So my eye is significantly smaller than the length of this lash pad. So I wonder if I should cut it. Do you think we should cut it and be brave? Sure. Also, I feel like I need to mention, I had a self tanner <laughs> disaster happen. I tried to uh, make do, try something new, didn't work. Don't look at it because this is not a self tanner video. It looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm adding the lash glue onto the lash pad so I can stick it to my eyelid. By the way, if you've never seen this process happen, I'm just gonna warn you, it's not cute. It's actually really scary looking. Watch and learn, Grant. <sighs> wow, looks great. As long as it sticks down. I'm gonna hold it there for 20 seconds. Oh, it's not working. I don't think it's gonna stick. 17, 18, 19, 20. It's lifting on the edges. Yeah, it's like off. I think you gotta maybe just apply some more glue to the edges. <laughs> Trying one more time. Did you ever see your life going in this direction? No. I can't say that I didn't see mine going in this direction. You didn't. So I don't know if it's like the shape of this does not want to be stuck to my eye or it's the glue. We're just going to try some good old duo glue and see if that works any better. Can I stick it on? Yeah, you can stick it on if you want. It's like Elmer's. I right, gotta close your eyes. Yeah, so that middle edge part's just really not wanting to stick. I definitely think this glue is working better, but it's still not working great. Oh no, it's now it's lifting on both corners. Okay, it looks absolutely disgusting with the amount of glue I had to use, and I feel really weird talking to you with one eye closed. I'm just gonna try to make it work, because I could not get it to stick down uniformly, and I feel like this is as good as it's gonna get. So let's move on and pretend like everything's fine. So as if this step wasn't weird enough already, next you grab the lash glue again and you coat the outside of the lash pad and you stick your lashes up onto the lash pad to get them in position to get the perming lotion on top. And I'm gonna work in sections. So they give you this little tool to brush your lashes up Okay, I don't know if you can see, but the lashes are going up and then they're just falling right back down. And so now my lashes are just getting covered in lash glue and they're gonna be so hard to separate. This is why you go to a professional. Okay, so I think what we're determining is the lash glue that comes in the kit is kind of garbage. I also have this little lash comb that I thought could be helpful in separating the lashes because you have to have the lashes really nice and separated and combed up and not clumpy at all because the way they look on the lash pad is the way they're gonna look once they're permed. So you have to be pretty careful and they're really sticky. <laughs> oh my God, it's working. I'm gonna go in with more lash glue on the lash pad, let it get tacky. I don't know if I need to tell you this, but this could be very damaging to your lashes. So don't just like jump into this because I'm doing it. Proceed with caution. Now here, I didn't explain this. This is a Q-tip with a little end cut off. This is something I saw someone else in another DIY video using and it looked like it was super easy. But I feel like that's pretty good, right? That are, no, Which ones? There's some that are sticking. Oh no! I got a couple crazy lashes that are sticking straight forward. Right here? Yeah. Okay, this is far from perfect. I'm I hesitate to even like zoom you in because I don't want to scare you. But that's what it looks like. Okay, don't look I think for it too looks long. Good. <laughs> it does not look good. It looks all crusty. Well, it looks crusty because of the glue, and we had to like glue that edge down so many times, but I got the lashes as straight as I possibly can. I went over them like 900 times, so I'm kind of just sick of doing it. So now my next step is to use the number one perm. It's the white goo. I'm using another Q-tip. Smells like a hair perm, ew. Perm juice? I'm going along, but I'm leaving out the tips of the lashes. Uh-oh, there's a loose lash. I don't feel like there's anything I can do about it now. 
I feel beautiful. Yeah, you look gorgeous. You gonna be so happy after this? Yeah, I really will. If it works. If I still have lashes at the end of this, I'll definitely be really happy. Okay. What if one side is nice and permed and the other side is like, wow. Maybe. All right, my timer went off. And so I'm gonna go through and try to wipe off that perming gel. Next, I'm going in with the blue step, the fixation. Honestly, don't know what this stuff does. And you just wanna apply it the same way as the first stuff, all over from the base to the middle, but not all the way to the very end. All right, so now I'm just setting the timer for 10 minutes again. How you doing, Miss Bean? Do you miss me? Luna almost never comes in here when I'm recording, because I think she's kind of scared of the lights. Is this taking too long for you? All right, step two is ready to come off, and then I'm gonna go in with the oil, or what do they call it? The nutrition. Kind of hard to get this stuff off with the toothpick. I keep wanting to say toothpick. Actually, a toothpick would be kind of handy yeah. in this. All right, I tried to get as much as I could off. Let me show you this stuff. It is like neon yellow, but I think it's just like an oil, just to add a little bit of conditioning after you've done this like perm treatment, which is kind of like damaging. I think it also helps to release the lashes from the lash glue, hopefully. Oh yeah, it's definitely releasing the lashes. Maybe I should be a lash tech. Yeah, do it. Does one eye. Maybe I should do this for a living. These lashes here at the front are super stuck. Wow. All right, so now I'm breaking out the little vial of cleanser which I think is basically like makeup remover. And it's just supposed to help you release the pad off of your eyelid because it's glued down real strong. This is about to not be very pretty. I mean, not that any of this has been pretty so far. I can't believe I'm doing this, but there's no stopping now. Oh my gosh, there it goes. Oh my gosh. Ah! My lashes are still stuck. Ooh, this is nasty. Oh, 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 put more oil. More oil. I wish they're so coated in glue. They're never gonna be the same. Wow, this is a bump in the road that I did not expect. I did not go through all of that to rip my lashes out. But maybe I did. Oh my gosh. Let me hold it and you can work on them. Ow, 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 don't pull. Oh my gosh. Oh, my lashes look like they're like swamp creatures. They're so coated in glue. I must have done something wrong. Cause like, what do you get the glue off with? Maybe next time we need to try their glue too. Yeah. I just got impatient with it. I think we should probably should have like waited a little bit. All right, now I'm just trying to get the glue off of my lids. Not easy. It looks like I have pink eye. I'm going to scream. How much did it even work? It's got more curves on the other side for sure. Okay, Grant just went to get me a couple more supplies, some more Q-tips and stuff like that. And I think I figured out what I did wrong. So when I had a couple of little lashes that weren't sticking to the pad, I went back into the glue and put the glue on top of some of the lashes that were already stuck down and then tried to stick the lashes that weren't sticking up onto that new glue. So I think that kind of like sandwiched the lash and glue onto the pad and that's why it was sticking so hard on there. And I think that's what you do not wanna do. So that's where I messed up. That is what I will not do again. Okay, Grant's back. Obviously there were bumps in the road, but I will say just like first impression, it did have an effect. The lashes are lifted a little bit, but they could definitely be doing a whole lot more. I'm seeing an effect, but I wish I was seeing a little bit more of an effect. I think maybe I didn't put enough perming gel on. I left it on long enough, but maybe I didn't use enough product. So maybe that's what we'll do different on this side. Should we use a different pad to try to get a more extreme effect on this side? Well, we could, yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't match, but like, who cares? So which pad is this? This is so yeah, we decided to go in with the S pad, which is the thinnest pad. And they say that's for the short lashes. So you're really getting those lashes going upwards because I just feel like this effect could be a little more dramatic. Okay, so I have you zoomed in so you can really see like the before and after here. This eye is the one that's untouched. I mean, you can probably obviously see this eye is all like upset and red and angry at me, but you can see a difference. This eye, the lashes are totally straight. This one has some lift. You can actually see the lashes, which I'm happy to see. I would like it to be a little bit more dramatic. So that's what we're gonna go for on this eye. We'll see what happens, but I have a lift. So while Leanne was talking to you, I went ahead and put the glue on the backside of the small pad to give it some time. I think that was one of the things we didn't, weren't waiting long enough for it to get tacky. So we'll give it a few more seconds here and then slap it on. Oh no. 
So it feels really wet. Well, I think my eye is watering because I think you're holding it down really hard. So maybe I should be the one to hold it down. It's lifting. I think this glue is just garbagey. All right, so now we're going in with more lash glue and we're gonna be gluing the lashes up. I just thought while we were just- Oh, it's coming off more. See, this glue is just not good. Yeah. I hate this. Yeah, this sucks. We officially hate this process, but this step is definitely the worst part of all of it. Getting the pad stuck down is garbage. It is no fun, it is very hard, and the lash glue they give you, or at least in this pack, it's just not good. All right, attempt number two. Can we do yours? Yeah, I want to perm down though. You would never trust me to do you go yours. Fly trap. I'm starting to think that this is not an at-home thing. <laughs> You're just starting to think that? Actually, I've been thinking it. I just didn't want to say anything. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> but I feel like I can do anything. I'm sure it's doable, but as a first timer, it's not going well. I think it's sticking enough. Okay. That looks pretty good. Ta-da! Perm in your... Eyebrows. <laughs> I would like to try that eyebrow perm, brow lamination at home. I feel like that would be much, much, much easier. Grant. Oh my gosh, why are they getting so stuck? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Maybe we waited too long on this one. All right, I think you should take over. You're just gonna give up? I don't wanna ruin your lashes. I think they're already ruined. <laughs> I feel like we have to put more glue. Yeah. So they were stuck down and then they came up? Yeah. See, that's what, I waited too long to do that thing. That's definitely what happened. Yeah, I have to be fast. You get a hang of it? I am, I think, I don't know. Uh, Okay, as you can see, I have all the lashes glued up. It's definitely not as orderly as I would like, but we're just gonna go with it because honestly, I am really ready to be done with this project. It's taking forever. So I'm going back in with my perm gel, get it all goopy on there. And I'm gonna try to apply it a little bit more liberally on this eye than the first eye, because I think maybe that's what went wrong with this one. All right, now I'm starting my timer for 10 minutes. And I'm just gonna wait. I didn't even notice you lost your hat. Yeah. Grant is getting less and less <laughs> professional as this video goes on. It's frustrated. Okay, so now I am trying to get this perm gel off of my lashes as much as I can. Perm gel. And then now I'm going in with the number two fixation. And zoom you in real real close. You can at least see one of these steps up close. I'm kind of feeling like this eye is gonna turn out so much better than this eye. All right, I got it on thick. Set my timer for 10 minutes and then we wait again. This is taking forever, but I feel like it would be so much more stressful to do both eyes at the same time. Yeah. All right, it's been another 10 minutes. I'm gonna try to wipe all this fixation gel out. What if my eyelashes start coming off? Ugh. Now I'm gonna go in with that neon yellow. What is it? Nutrition? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go over the lashes with the nutrition oil. Really goopy glop it on. And hopefully taking this one off will be easier. They're glued down tight. Well, I wasn't really helping in any of this, was I? You were. I feel like you were a good help. You were a lot of help to me, like, Mentally, <laughs> I feel like I would have gotten so much more frustrated through this process if you weren't here. Honestly, I feel like I would have given up. Yeah. I'm getting scared right now. These are not coming off the pad. No, you can't see it. They are. So this video is definitely not as fun as the husband does my mate. Okay. No. This was for people like watching pain. Do you like to watch pain? Do you my like to watch pain? My channel is for you. Yeah. Do you want to use some of your tweezers to kind of tweeze them off? Just tweeze my lashes out? Yeah. Let's just tweeze them all off. Ooh, you're going to get these suck as a bath. Husband tweezes my lashes out. That is a video for people that like pain. Oh my god. <laughs> Was that my disturbing? <laughs> I just picked the lash off and peeled it off. That, that was an experience. Well, they're looking like they're going the right direction. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm breaking out the cleanser on a cotton pad so I can get some of this glue off my lid. I can't tell, is it better? I don't think it was worth the effort. I mean, based on how much curve you're getting here. My lashes are all coated in glue as well as this brow, thanks take, to Grant. Take you to the backyard and hose you off. I need it. I don't know what I'm gonna do to get this lash glue off. I don't know. We'll see how this stuff does. Value size. 
Okay, I'm super, super frustrated. My camera battery is flashing at me. It's dying. We've been working on this for so long. I have glue on my fingers. There's glue on my lashes. There's glue in my eyebrows. I can't get away from it. And I feel like right now the right decision is to stop for now, give my lashes a bit of a break, yeah. try to work on the glue a little bit more later and then come back maybe tomorrow and give you an update and maybe like add mascara and show you what that looks like and give you my final thoughts. Because right now, if I gave you my final thoughts, I would say this is not worth it. But maybe it was just a user error. I don't know, maybe it was me, maybe it was the kit. I don't know what it was. I'm sure some of you guys are lash techs. I'm sure you guys are professionals and you guys will tell me what I did wrong. Thank you. But right now, I, I'm in a bad place with it. I'm not feeling good about it. Yeah, it was a tough little journey we went on today. <laughs> tough little journey. Tough little journey. I should title this video, The Tough Little Journey. Yeah. With Grant and Leanne. <laughs> Nightmare. Nightmare slash tough, tough little journey. journey. Let's do a little bit of a close up. I can definitely tell a difference between the two lash pads. This side was a thicker pad, so you get a more gentle lift. And then this side, was much thinner so you get a more extreme one so i'm definitely noticing a difference and this one is much more lifted but at the same time i feel like this one kind of fell a little bit as we were working on this one so we'll just see if that happens and i'll check back in with you let you know what happens i'm so ready for this tough little journey to be over me too i'm sorry if you're regretting being involved in this video no. at all Grant was so confident. He was so sure that he was gonna be a first time professional. <laughs> yeah, I when watching the, the how-to like technique, it didn't seem like it was gonna be, like you just had to do kind of some fine work, but it didn't seem like there was gonna be gobs of glue stuck on your eye and like, all this just like stuff, like nothing sticking, nothing working. Very frustrating day here. <laughs> tough big, little journey. Big case of the Mondays. Are you ever gonna go on a tough little journey with me again? We'll see. Just. Don't ever do this at home. <laughs> That's Grant's final thought. Yes. Yeah, don't ever do this. Yeah. It's a tough little journey you don't want to do. Give up. We've been working on this for two hours. We're done. I'll be back though. All right, guys, I'm back to check in. It's a new day. It's been 24 hours. My spirits have been lifted. My lashes are also still lifted. Yesterday, ooh, the process really tested me. I'm sure you can tell. It just took forever. But honestly, I mostly feel like that was because it was my first time doing it. So in my final thoughts, I'm a little bit torn. I would say for most people, don't waste your time. But for me, I don't know why I am this optimistic about some things. It definitely doesn't work in my favor in most cases, but I feel like if I tried it again, I might like it more because it definitely worked. On this side, it's definitely a more subtle lift, but my lashes are more lifted than they used to be. It's still a big improvement than what I had before trying the lash lift. And this side is a really good lift in my opinion. It's probably not as good as it would be if I went to see a professional. I would definitely recommend going to a professional if that is an option. Right now, it is not an option. That's mostly why I wanted to try doing it at home, just to see if I could do it, you know? But I really like this eye. Right now, I don't have any mascara on, so you <laughs> probably can't see my lashes from here, but I shot an up close. So hopefully you can actually see the detail of this side versus this side. And now I'm gonna put on a little mascara. I would normally curl them and then also use a waterproof. We're just gonna see what happens when I use a regular one. Wah, 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 wah. Uh oh This side, not looking too good. They're still pretty lifted but they definitely look a little bit weighed down from the mascara. Honestly, in regular life, I would still definitely curl these lashes on the side, especially just because I used the fatter lash pad and it wasn't as effective. Let's see what happens on the more lifted side. Uh-oh, got it on my eyelid already. I was trying to be so careful. All right, let me zoom you in just a bit so you can see. It's just one coat of mascara. I didn't wanna like do anything crazy. I want you to really see the results of the lash lift. And obviously this side is definitely more impressive than this side. Definitely not a surprise. You know, I like it. <laughs> I hated the process yesterday and it was definitely slowed down because I was doing it with Grant, although he did add a lot of moral support that I really appreciated a lot. And I also did it one eye at a time, which also slowed it down, but it was my first time. So I don't really regret going slow and doing it one eye at a time because it was kind of stressful and I didn't want to make any mistakes because 
if you make mistakes, bad things could happen. I mean, I cannot stress that enough. I don't want anybody to just like go out there willy nilly and just be like, oh, slap it on, no worries. Like worries, have them. On the packaging, it doesn't say anything about how long this will last, but going off of what I was told before when I got it done professionally, I think it's supposed to last about four to six weeks. That's what I remember. Could be wrong and it also could vary person to person so it's not a sure thing i saw one video where a girl said that it lasts her like three months so who knows we'll see what happens but overall i must admit i would try this again would i recommend it to everyone no you saw how punishing that process was yesterday. It was really tough, it was really annoying, it took a really long time, it was kind of stressful, and it was not a perfect process. I still have a little bit of glue in my lashes even now. I worked on them a lot last night, but the whole glue process, honestly, like if you have any tips on that, just let me know because in all the videos that I've seen so far, I haven't seen anybody have so much trouble with getting glue in their lashes. So obviously I did something wrong. Actually, I probably did like a million things wrong. If you're a lash tech, you're probably cringing into the floor right now. I'm sorry, I was doing my best. My best probably wasn't very good, but what I suggested to you, most likely not, unless you're like me and you're just like glutton for punishment. But me, I would try it again just because I like a lash lift and I would love to get good at it. I would love to be able to do it at home. Although I would recommend going to a professional, of course. I know it's kind of a convoluted answer, but those are all of my thoughts. I would feel like I was cheating you if I didn't really tell you my honest thoughts because they're kind of all over the place and they always are. But overall, that's how I feel. This is how the lashes turned out. I'm pretty happy with them, even though they're lopsided. It was a semi-successful experiment. I don't regret doing it, even though it kind of drove me crazy and it definitely drove Grant crazy. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you subscribe and come back for new videos and vlogs every single week. Find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere. It's Leanne Says. I love talking to you guys over there. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone. Give me some almonds. I need some strength here. Some almonds. Some almonds, do I say it weird? People have told me I say it word before. No. How do you say it? Almonds. That's not how you Almonds. say it. Almonds. 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 We have liftoff.